What is the difference between IMEI and IMEI 2? Hello there. Welcome to our deep dive into the world of IMEI numbers. Today, we're going to explore the difference between IMEI and IMEI 2. Don't worry if these terms sound like tech jargon. By the end of this video, you'll understand what they mean and why they're crucial. What is IMEI? Firstly, let's start with what IMEI stands for. IMEI is an acronym for International Mobile Equipment Identity. Every mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet, has this unique identifier. It is primarily used for identifying the device and has no permanent or semi-permanent relation to the subscriber. The IMEI is a unique number assigned to your device by its manufacturer and serves several key functions. 1. Device Identification Network providers use IMEI to identify valid devices. So, if your phone gets stolen and you report it, your network provider can blacklist the device using its IMEI, making it unusable on any network worldwide, even if the thief changes the SIM card. 2. Fraud Prevention IMEI helps prevent mobile device fraud as it is challenging to change this number without specialized knowledge and tools. What is IMEI 2? Now, let's discuss IMEI 2. This term might be less familiar to you, but it's just as important. IMEI 2 is simply the second IMEI number that dual SIM phones have. It's also a unique number, just like the original IMEI, and performs the same functions but for the second SIM card slot. This means if you have a dual SIM phone, it will have two IMEI numbers, IMEI, for the first SIM slot, and IMEI 2, for the second SIM slot. Both are essential for the reasons we mentioned earlier. In conclusion, both IMEI and IMEI2 play a vital role in device security and network regulation, especially in our world where mobile device usage is ubiquitous. While they perform the same functions, the key difference lies in their use in single or dual SIM devices. Remember, these numbers are unique to your device, so they should be kept private to prevent misuse. So, next time you come across these terms, you now know what they stand for and their importance. Keep exploring, and stay tech-savvy!